What are the overarching themes that you follow? Every six weeks we review the curriculum because we review the performance of every individual player. So we review their player performance against their targets in the curriculum and if they uh, need those targets adjusting then the curriculum is adjusted accordingly. So every player has an individual development plan within the overall themes of the, of the curriculum. So that happens every six weeks and then every year we have a general review uh, uh, of, of the curriculum itself. If we come up with new ideas, if, if things um, we try and work out, we'll add them in and if things aren't working we take them out. But, but uh, it's that intense six week review that means we keep ahead of the game and on, on, on top of the game. Um, in terms of what, what is it, um, it's, it's, uh, it's a huge curriculum uh, from under six all the way through to the, the first team if you like um, and that, work, that goes from a very, very simple um, physical education type movements, fundamental movements, uh, agility, balance coordination stuff. Um, at the early ages and ball manipulation skills, all about the boy and his ball, and then it moves um, moves up as they get older to a boy and, a, and his mate and his ball, and then his boy and his mate and another boy and his mates and a ball, until you build up the the, um, the familiarity with the ball and then the ability to co cooperate and coordinate with partners and then teammates and then a team. But all the themes around that would be passing, shooting controlling the ball, turning, running with the ball, dribbling, uh, ball control, uh, as well as the ability to manoeuvre your body, and, uh, move into space, recognise space and time. All of those kind of things are built into the curriculum, but according to the age and the development level of the player.